Hello boys and girls and welcome to day 21 of the Jesse Tree. We've been following along the story of Jesus and his the family um, of heritage that he came from and we're still in the Old Testament. I think we have a couple more stories and then we'll be in the New Testament. We're getting really, really close. Today we're going to read about Daniel and the lion's den. So let's read about this story about Daniel and, and his... Uh, destiny in the lion's den. That's kind of scary. Um, there was a king, his name was Darius, and he was the new king of Babylon. Daniel was his chief helper. The king's helpers did not like Daniel one single bit. Here's the lion, I mean here's the lion, here's, here's the king, and here's Daniel. But none of the people uh, or the helpers liked Daniel. And so they said to the king, you are such a wonderful king, you should make a new law that for the next 30 days, everyone must pray only to you. If they disobey, they will get thrown into the lion's den. So King Darius made the new law, but Daniel kept praying to God because Daniel loved God and he knew that he should be praying to God. And so we, here's, here's the king's helpers and here's Daniel. He was true to God and he prayed to him. Well, I guess you can imagine what happened next. They told King Darius, now you must throw Daniel in the lion's den. The king knew that he had been tricked, but he had to obey his own new law. And so Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. He was not afraid. He knew God would take care of him and King Darius told Daniel, I hope your God will save you. And that night the king could not sleep, but Daniel wasn't worried one single bit. So here's the king, uh, people telling him that it's time for Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den. And then here is Daniel saying, I'm not worried, not a bit. All right, ooh, what's gonna happen to Daniel? At sunrise, the king uh, hurried to the lion's den and said, has your God saved you from the lions, he called. Yes, answered Daniel. My God sent an angel to protect me. So Daniel returned to the palace and King Darius ordered everyone to honor and respect God. So that's an amazing story as a result of Daniel being obedient and praying only to God, King Darius changed his mind and had everyone worship God, which is a great story for us. Well, I think now it's time to hang that ornament on the ornament tree, the Jesse tree. Here it is. Oh, let me show it to you. There it is. All right, and we'll hang it right here. And we'll say a prayer together. Let's bow our head. Thank you, Jesus, for being my greatest gift. Please come live in my heart today. I'm so happy to be a part of your family, the family of God. Amen. All right, boys and girls, till the next time, I'll see you tomorrow.